This video will explain how to check the firmware version of your ApeLab uplights and update or reflash them if necessary using the WAP hardware and software installed on your mobile device. Please watch this tutorial once before beginning the firmware update so you're familiar with the process. Before you begin your update, please be certain that your WAP, your mobile device, and your light or lights are fully charged. Your Bluetooth is activated on your mobile device. Your mobile device has the most current WAP version installed by visiting the Google Play Store and checking for updates. All of your lights are out of their case and within a few feet of both the WAP hardware and the mobile device that has the WAP software installed on it. And your WAP hardware is the current version as described in the checking and updating your firmware on your WAP video tutorial. Next, turn on your WAP device and make sure you have connectivity between the device and the app again as described in the checking and updating the firmware in your WAP tutorial. From the home page, click on the device status page. Here you will see a listing of any attached devices that are powered on, including the WAP hardware. It will show any recognized device's serial number, battery status, and firmware version. To identify any light on the device status page, simply tap on the device name and that light's white LED will flash several times. Now, navigate to the Update Lights tab. You can update any number of lights in the same family simultaneously, such as all maxis, all sticks, or all cans and minis. Simply bring all lights of that family into service mode by first making sure all lights are off, and then press and hold the power button until the LEDs in each device flash blue and white rapidly. Select the device type from the drop-down menu at the bottom of the page, and then press the Update button. The Uplight's LEDs will start flashing red rapidly during the update. Once the update is complete, the LEDs will stop flashing and turn themselves off. The screen will show that the firmware update or reflash was successful. Simply follow the prompts to complete the process. You can confirm the update was successful by checking the Uplight's firmware version on the device status page. The following instructions are to be used if you receive a device update failure notification. Occasionally the update will fail as indicated by a slow flashing red status on any of the uplights and the app will indicate that the update failed. If that happens, follow these instructions. If the device has failed to update, you will not be able to shut the light off from its slow red blinking status. It's looking for firmware which must be installed successfully. However, since the light is in receive mode already, it's not necessary to shut the light off in order to restart the update process for that particular light or set of uplights. Simply exit to the home page and touch the gear icon. Select Update Lights, and then select Safe Update Mode by touching the Update Mode button once. Select the device type that you're updating and continue the update process from there. Using the Safe Mode setting reduces the data transmission speed so any or all lights can receive the update and acknowledge the successful reception of that data back to the W app device and the software on your mobile device, respectively. Once you have started the firmware update process, you will have to complete it since the lights must have an operating system installed on them in order to function. If your update fails, you must restart the firmware update process described in this tutorial before you can bring the affected uplight back into service. To view this tutorial and our growing library of other tutorials, please visit our website at apelabsusa.com and click on the Tutorials tab. Oh, and keep it simple.